First, though, a man shot by police after an argument gets out of hand. Officers say the man shot at them and another guy, forcing them to shoot back. New tonight, we're learning the reason the two men were fighting in the first place is because somebody was having an affair, according to police. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us. We first broke this story last night at 11. Castleberry police say they got a call about a disturbance on Griggs Avenue and found a man pointing a gun at another man. News 6's Jerry Askin is live from that neighborhood tonight. Jerry, bullets hit houses in that neighborhood behind you. Eric, and that is the scariest part. You know, a seven-year-old girl actually lives here in this home. Thankfully, she and her family were not home when gunshots actually traveled through her home. Her family's car was also riddled with bullet holes, too, you can see here. And now we are finding out more about last night's shooting that left uh, two men hospitalized and two men, two officers, rather, now on paid leave. You have the numbered ones here. You can tell that they... The bullets came through here. It all happened right in front of Gabe Quinones' home. He showed us the more than 10 bullet holes at his house, and his car was even shot too. Thankfully, his wife and seven-year-old daughter were not home last night when the shooting happened. It went through the, the garage, through the living room, and through my kitchen, all the way across. So if we were home, we could have been in the line of fire. Now we're finding out authorities say they were called here to Griggs Avenue after a fight between 41-year-old Joseph Hoffman and another man over an affair. Police say two Castleberry police officers returned fire, hitting Hoffman, who authorities say ignored police commands, shot the victim, then shot towards officers. The officers were not hit. Neighbors say they heard more than 15 gunshots. The shot was like boom, boom. <laughs> FDL Lee has now taken over the investigation. Investigators worked overnight, lying down evidence markers and gathering all they could to find out more. I just heard something happen and came outside. And we're also finding out the officers who opened fire are Zachary Price and Thomas Graffy. Both have been with the Castleberry Police Department for three years. All as this family is now counting their blessings. Luckily we weren't home and nobody got hurt. And back live here at last check, those two men who were hospitalized are now recovering in the hospital, that victim and the suspect who shot towards officers. Those two officers who returned fire are on paid leave now as FDLE investigates. That's policy for any officer involved in shooting. Right now we're live in Castleberry tonight. Jerry Askin, New 6. Yeah, this could have been really bad, Jerry. Thank you. We'll see you again tonight at 11.